Hi everyone, my name's Nina Rybina. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make some inches, twinches, one and a half E's, um, and some one and a half by two inches. Um, I'm using some Dilusions ink sprays here to create my background. I'm using a variety of different colours, funky fuchsia, bubblegum pink, squeezed orange, lemon zest, calypso teal and fresh lime. You can use any spray inks of your choice to create a background like this. Um, your homemade sprays will work just fine if that's what you've got, so just grab some colours of your choice and get spraying. So all I've done is I've gessoed a piece of cereal box um, which I've trimmed on my rotary trimmer and I gessoed um, the shiny side, the patterned box side, um, and then I've just you've just seen me go over it with um, a variety of Dilusions inks. And then what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to tilt this on its side and let it drip. Here it is, I've given it a quick blast with the heat gun. I haven't used um, paper towel to mop up any ink, I've just let it dry. Um, so that it's not running anymore and then I've gone over it with the heat gun. I must stress as well that um, before I added the, the gesso to the cereal box, I um, sanded um, with fine sandpaper because it's shiny, just to give it a bit of grip. And then I brushed um, the, um, the, the, the dust off with um, a baby wipe. You can see, there we go, there's the dust and then applied my gesso, so that's that. Anyway, I'm gonna go away and cut this into strips. I'm going to do inches, twinches, and one and a half inches. Um, so as soon as I've done that, I'll come back. Okay, so I've just gone and trimmed my pieces. I used my rotary trimmer, and for the inches, I used um, this, which is a smaller trimmer. The rotary trimmer is difficult to get one inch squares. And let me just flick through them. These are the inches. So that's what I've got there. I've got lovely texture from um, where I applied the gesso. These are the two inches. I've cut seven of each. Love that one. That one's gorgeous. So I've got those. And then I cut some one and a half by one and a half inch squares. That's those. And then I did some one and a half by two inch squares. So I'm going for it today. <laughs> there we go. So that's those. So I'm just going to grab some more supplies and then I'll come back. Right, I've grabbed some bits and pieces to add some texture. I've got three colours um, of stamps. I've got stays on raw purple, teal blue and midnight blue. Um, I've got a text stamp, some of my Tim Holtz texture. Um, plates here. These are the texture treads, the leaf design, steampunk and the one that you've seen me use, the scalloped lace. And then I've got a couple of these. I picked these up at the scrap store when I very first joined, so that's got to be six or seven um, years ago and um, originally I bought them for using with um, clay. Anyway, I'm going to put on to fast forward and decorate some of these. Right, so here they are. This is how they're looking um, now after a bit of stamping. Um, so um, I'm going to grab some more bits and pieces and then I'll come back again. I've grabbed a few colours of my distress paints um, that will match the backgrounds of these and I'm just going to put it on fast forward now and just add a little bit more paint just to tone the stamping down a bit. So here they are looking really cute, textured um, and colourful. So I'm going to go away, grab some supplies to use for um, the focal images. Right, so I decided that I was going to use some corrugated um, cardboard. 
for my focal images and I've gone away and grabbed a load of my punches in various styles so I've got large heart small heart flowers and um, a little dragon fly and I've also got a couple of Sizzix dies these are the small thin lips and I've got um, a couple of flowers here these were the ones that I got reduced I think they were three pounds each in Hobbycraft um, a few months back so I've punched some images out of corrugated cardboard um, let me put these away and I'll come back and I'll show you what I've got. Right, I've chosen to start with nine of these, three um, of each size. Um, in fact, I ha I've forgotten actually the one and a half by one and a half. I'll do those in the next batch. Um, but here we go. This is what I'm going to work on. And I've just stacked a few different shapes out of cardboard um, together. So for instance, this one here, I've got the larger flower. Um, that one and then the heart on top and I've done the same with all of them so that I've got um, enough embellishments to fill the nine cards. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my distress paints and I'm just going to start painting um, them one at a time. So let's move these out of the way because otherwise I'm going to end up in a complete muddle. Right okay so I I'm going to start off, I'm going to I'm going to try and sort of match it to the colours that I've got here and coordinate it. So I'm just going to pounce over the top of the cardboard. So, and then what shall we have for this one here? I think we'll have, now which green do I want? Do I want the blue or the green? No, I'm going to stick with the green. so that's that one there and then the heart I think I'm going to have in a dark purple there we go and I'm going to continue to do this with um, all of the cards and um, and then then I'll come back right so here they are um, I've laid them where I want them they're not quite dry yet so I can't really do anything with them I can't glue them down or do anything with them at this stage but as soon as they're dry enough I'm going to ink around the edges of each of the um, parts um, and then I'm going to glue the pieces down using glossy accents um, glossy accents is strong enough to hold them firmly um, in place and then what I shall do is I shall draw a stem on the flower um, here um, but there we go, that's how they look um, so far. I'm going to show you how I'm inking the edges. I've just got um, a makeup sponge and I'm just going around the edges like this. This will just highlight them so that they stand out um, on, more on the page. Um, so I'm going to carry on doing this with all the elements. So you'll be bored stiff if you watch me do um, all, of, all of this. And then as I say, once I've done it, I shall come back. Right, so here they are. They're glued down now. Um, and the only change I've made is that I've drawn my stem for the flower here and I used a biro, just a standard black um, biro for it because of the glossy accents. I was worried that um, some pens might not go over um, the glue. And then I just highlighted with my um, Uniball, um, my Jelly Roll pen and just put some white dots just to, to highlight. And here are my finished um, inches. I've mounted them on black cardstock and I've gone around the outside of the card with a white Posca paint pen. I've then used the Uniball Signo white gel pen to add some individual dots around the inches. I've finished off the one and a half by one and a half inches that I forgot about and I used my Tim Holtz tattered flower garland die for those. They have holes in the centre so I've used gold brads to um, tie them together which I have painted in the Tim Holtz Distress Paint in coordinating colours to tie everything together. So hope you like them. Thanks for watching my video and don't forget to click on the link in the description below to go to the next person's video in the hop and I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment and like and subscribe. Take care, see you all again soon.